this thing on. What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. It is going to be lit. This is a question I get all the time. And always, make sure you drop me a like, make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, drop me a comment below of what you want me to talk about next, what you need help with. I am here for you to become successful. We want to become successful together, guys. I love you. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. Let's freaking do this thing. Let's get right into it. We're going to talk about the top three things that you need to make sure of if you are going to wholesale a house with tenants in place. Okay? Common question I get all the time, can I wholesale a house with tenants or you know, what do I need to do to do it right? A lot of people do it. We do it all the time and it is very possible to do. There is definitely certain things though that you need to be aware of. You need to know what's going on so you do not make big mistakes, ruin relationships with the buyers, and you know stuff like that, get caught up in lawsuits and all this other crazy stuff. So let's get right into it. Number one, you want to make sure that the tenant has good payment history. Okay? You want to make sure that they are paying on time. So you're going to always ask. Uh, you know a series of questions when dealing with a seller that wants the tenant to stay like hey Do they pay on time? How much do they pay? You want them to be paying close to market rent because guess what? That's what your buyers gonna want and don't get me wrong. There's gonna be times that It's just gonna be hey the tenant needs to stay in for a couple weeks They're moving out, but I need to close now um, and then there's also gonna be times where it's a newer lease right and you're gonna have to you know that seller wants you to ride that out and not break it okay so you're gonna come across a couple different scenarios but definitely you want to make sure either way that the that they actually have good payment history they're making payments uh, the rent is a good market rent price okay and then also you want to make sure that um, you know there's a lease in place right that's number two you want a lease to be in place. You don't know how many times we run across deals that there's tenants in the property and there's no lease, whether it wasn't renewed or it was a handshake deal, something like that. Um, you want to make sure there's a lease in place and also that lease gets transferred with a deposit. Okay, so if they have a lease, they should also have a security deposit um, and everything like that in case there's damage to the property. Make sure that you instruct your title company, a good one though, would already know this, but just watch it that your rent is getting prorated, okay, for the month that you're buying in, and then also that deposit is getting moved over to you or essentially to your buyer, right? So make sure that happens, very important. And if you're dealing with number three, let's say this, right? So let's just say we're dealing with the tenant's gonna move out in like a month or two weeks, whatever. Your buyer's okay with it what he might suggest or she might suggest what you need to just go ahead and do right from the gets right from the start is make sure that the seller knows hey that's okay we can do this but we are going to hold back a percentage of funds in escrow until that tenant moves out okay so that is that is very very important that that keeps the seller on your side if it's like a quick turnaround the tenant's going to be moving out soon you want to make sure that hey if this tenant doesn't move out and I need to evict them, that is going to be much more expensive for us now, right? Or the easier route, if you do run into that scenario, what we always try to do is just pay them off, okay? So typically if they try to stay in there and, you know, everything else, it's usually because they don't have the money to go put a down payment on something else, get a new apartment, whatever it is. So what we'll do is we'll go and offer them a little bit of money, maybe a down payment on something to help them get moved in somewhere else or moving expenses, something, right? As long as it isn't, so as long as it isn't over the uh, cost of an actual eviction and it's gonna get them out a lot sooner, and even if it is a little bit over, then that's a lot easier than waiting a month or so to get them out, risking potential damage to the property, and everything else. So there's a lot of ways that you can work this, but those are top, those are three points that you definitely want to make sure that you're aware of and that you're doing when you're dealing with these properties with tenants. All right. There's a lot more I could get to, into on this. If you want to hear more, you want me to do a follow-up video digging deeper into the tenant situation. I'm more than happy to do that. Drop me a like. Make sure you subscribe, guys. And as always. 
REI Automator is down below, 30% off. I will see you on the next one. I love you guys. Peace.